You include animal sourced broth in your rotation diet. What broth have you found is the most nutritious and healing? Beef, fish, or fowl? What is your opinion on meat versus bone broth regarding GI health? If it's okay, let me answer the latter, the question of bone broth versus other broths. The answer to that question is no to bone broth. Not only is bone broth too high in glutamate for people who may have too much glutamate outside their cells as excitoneurotoxins, but bone broth has within it whatever the bones of the animal had. And Bone is one of the places where the body stores toxic minerals. Lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, nickel are often in excess in bone broth because they were in the bones from which the broth was made. And when it says bone broth, what it really means is everything that has no commercial value, parts of the skin, the bones, some of the large joints, exactly what I think people should not be eating. In contrast, when you make a vegetable broth, you liberate the nutrients, you have something warm, and I do recommend that we start every meal with something wet and warm, like a broth, or like a vitamin C liquid. So we're starting the meal with something warm and wet, and among the most nutritious, are vegetable broths, fish broths, and meat broths. Now we do recommend using the LRA test results to guide which of those items you use to make your broth. And if it's higher on the food chain, if it's like a fish or a meat, my recommendation is get the healthiest fish you can. For example, if the eyes are still clear, then that fish has never been frozen and likely was line caught. And if you get a cold water line caught fish with its eyes still clear, that's a healthier fish than a standard uh, quickly captured, uh, frozen uh, and delivered uh, fish. Similarly with meat, you can today get 100% grass fed and humanely rendered, humanely slaughtered meat uh, from some boutiques online. It generally will come to you frozen. You thaw it once and use it, or keep it frozen until you thaw it once and use it. And there is a literature back in the 1920s and 30s that people would make meat broth for children, for the elderly, for those who had failure to thrive or really delicate digestions for whatever reason. So if you've lost digestive capacity, if you have atrophy of your digestive tract from enteropathy, then broth might be a way of getting some nutrients into you. So yes to vegetable broth for sure, preferably organic or biodynamically sourced, more nutritious uh, vegetables. Um, Bouillabaisse base is a kind of fish broth, but making a fish broth, uh, adds uh, a nutrient density. And if it was a healthy fish, that can be a choice. That is a choice. Similarly, meat broth from a healthy uh, rendered animal is a choice. So nature, nurture, and wholeness, physiology before pharmacology as our guides, lead us to say, well, what is it that is the most nutritious and least contaminated available today that's what I've just described. And stay away from the quote fads. Bone broth today is a fad. It'll be gone tomorrow once the reports get more dense and common about how contaminated with toxins, how uh, imbalanced the protein is that's in bone broth. So short answer, bone broth, no. Vegetable broth, definitely. Fish and meat broth, optional.